My name is Nora. I'm a listener in Security Zone Level 2. I'm listener 684448. Unless you need any clarification of protocol, we can begin. Mark time. About my mom. She doesn't tell me, but it's in the way she acts. Every time we talk, it's always this sneaky roundabout shit that I can tell is about how she wants me to take this job. It's like I'm lying even when I'm not. You know what I mean? I, and she keeps I listen. I, will never get I just listen. It's my assignment. So we're stacking them by two, see? You know, and that makes me really mad, okay? Because uh, I've only got eight of them left. And the first one that finishes has to file. And uh, I've already had to do it twice. And uh, now I live on the west side, and I've only got four rations left. It's like I didn't actually... I record the sessions and report delinquent talkers. I don't say anything. Not worried about nothing. Oh, damn. I shouldn't have said that, because uh, you guys have to report something, don't you? You know, I mean, uh, can I say that? Can I say that? I maintain the protocol. Because I'm wondering if I should say something. Someday, I might get reassigned. Here I am now. <clears throat> My son is gone. He's not coming back. I don't know when. <clears throat> My wife is acting like he's off on vacation. I don't know where he was up to when he got taken. But they came by and wanted to know where he was. I didn't know. They found him, though. They do. They find him. daughter does your daughter know you have all this does she how many violations do you count say your name Lucy and whose mother are you Nora's mother that's right listener 684 448 as her mother you are required to talk to her and then talk to us This man will see your daughter. We need to know exactly what he says. Oh, that hurts. Start counting. Begin with nine. Nine, six, six, eight. I don't think it's right that I have to be here. But I don't think that just because we got those four extra waters that we should be penalized. I don't even think she's trying to get rid of it. It's like she's tending it. I, I, I know. I know I'm supposed to talk about that. I, I'm supposed to talk about what's, what's upsetting me. And right now, that's what's upsetting me, all right? I know I talked about this last time, but still. Why would anyone want a hangnail? I mean, they're really pretty painful. Uh, if we could talk about it, we might reach some agreement. But I'm not supposed she's to talk about like it. probably like... 10 years older than me? She keeps biting on it like it's I'm a just gonna change the subject. Piece of candy. A lot older than my mom. It's just hard. We meant nothing by it. It's and now not. I'm supposed to make the best of it. He's healthy for sure. He wears this blue coat. Let's go to the inspirational. You are living well. Everything is coming together. I'll see you next time, four o'clock next Friday. Sit down. I can see you'd like to have a session, but this is not the protocol. I was glad when my mother was taken. I reported her. My mother lied a lot. The clinic will be glad to redirect you to your listener. 
Tell me your name. Your mom's a liar too, Nora. She's not cooperating. It's not as though you would want anything to happen to her. Your assignment comes with certain requirements with which you are very familiar. Don't waste my time. What's the inspirational these days? You're living well. Unless you need any clarification of protocol, we can begin. Mark time. The forest is dying. We have some old growth seeds, unmodified. We have to get them out of the city. Since this is your first session, I'm giving you a warning based on Law Workshop 484 and 5th level speech. Do you understand? You have to stop talking about the forest and leaving the city. We need your help. We've got enough acorns, good ones, sinkers, for 10 trees. They need to be carried out to the forest right away. You have to get onto the train leaving the 5T station. It leaves at 4 p.m. in two days. You have the wrong person. I'm a listener. I have been one for a long time. Look, I know who you are. 10 years ago, you made a run for it. They arrested you in the train station. Ben told me. The station is guarded. The train is the last return to the northern watershed this year. We need you on that train. Nora, you're here. I see you brought me another plant. We have to be careful with it. Well, of course we'll be careful. I have just the place for it. Do you need anything? No. Let me make you something. No, I have to go to work. Nora? Something's going on. Is everything all right? Everything is fine. I'll come back. I'll see you tomorrow. I, um, I ran. God damn, I ran. I ran, um, down Fifth and over to Jay and no, I don't, I don't remember. And I wouldn't do it again because I twisted my ankle really bad and then they caught up with me. So. All that stuff I have on file, I can't even access that now. I don't think I'd run again. I mean, I don't have any reason to now. I, um, I never miss a turn at the store. I never talk about it. Not a hair out of place, nothing. So I'm okay.
How's your mom? She's fine. As long as I cooperate. I heard something. It's about a talker you had. He's not a regular talker. I don't know what you're talking about. Nora, this is a chance for you to leave the city. Listen, Ben. I don't know anything. I go to work. I listen. I listen to people talk. I tell them they're good until their ticket is used up, and then they come back. I don't know anything. You can't give it to me, Nora. I know you want to leave. You always have. He broke protocol. I could get in trouble with him even being there. Well, then why don't you report him? He gave me a plant. I took it to my mom's. You have to get it back. What do you know about this? It's the forest, Nora. Those seeds were supposed to be in the ground three days ago. No, I can't. What about my mom? There's no one else who can take them. We'll take care of Lucy. I've got to go. Okay. Good luck. I'm listeners. This this is your first set. You know what I fucking hate? Oh no, I didn't do it, she did it. That's what Steve says. Yeah, so I broke open the plant and the roots were so thin, but tough. And then Steve comes over and he's trying to tell me how to water it. He grabs one of the leaves and it breaks off. You go, see, it's sick, it's dying. I took the plant, dumped it out into my hands. All the branches, and the leaves, and the white, white roots. And I made a fist. And the dirt went through my hands. And it was soft. And he goes, what the fuck are you doing? So I screamed in his face, I'm looking inside. And then I took the pot, I threw it onto the ground. Sounds like you did the right thing. You think so? Right. 